To be safe, we wanted to add a tire pressure monitoring system or a TPMS to our trailer. Our tow vehicle already has a TPMS system and we only have a single axle trailer. So we just wanted a simple TPMS system with two sensors. It turned out finding a TPMS for a single axle trailer was a little bit more of a challenge than we were expecting. The two that everybody seems to go with are the TireMinder i10 or the TST 507. And both of those just seem like overkill to us. Amazon has a ton of cheap options to choose from. The problem with that is we weren't really looking for cheap. We just wanted a small kit that was designed for a single axle with just two sensors because that's all that we needed. We wanted to still have a good quality system, something that we could trust, so we didn't really want to cheap out. We just wanted a system that was right for single axle. Now we did actually find an older tire minder system that looked like it would be a really good fit. It was the tire minder TRL2. What we liked about it is it was designed for single axle. There were only two sensors and the screen displayed both the PSI and the temperature for both of those tires on the screen all the time. The reason why we didn't go with that one is because it's only rated to go up to 70 PSI and the wheels on our trailer are rated to be at 80 PSI cold. So we needed something that could go higher. So we went back to the drawing board. Now, the reason why people tend to choose the TireMinder i10 is because it displays all of the wheels on one screen, but it displays all of the PSIs on one screen, and then it displays all of the temperatures on another screen. So for only two wheels, you're not really getting any benefit by having everything on one screen. Now on the TST TPMS, what people seem to dislike about that one was it showed each wheel on a separate screen. So you see the temperature and the PSI for one wheel, and then it rolled over and it would show for the next one and so on and so on. So if you're monitoring eight or 10 wheels, I could definitely see why somebody wouldn't want it to take so long to be able to see the stats for each individual wheel. But when you're only monitoring two wheels, it's not that big of a deal. It's basically the same thing as the TireMinder i10. You're still looking at two different screens. It's just instead of the PSI and temp on one screen, now it's one wheel on one screen and the other wheel on the other. So we started leaning more towards the TST 507. There's a few other reasons why we liked that TPMS version over the TireMinder one. We like that you can also control the thresholds on it. So instead of it alerting you at a default percentage, you can actually change that threshold and say, I wanna be alerted at this percentage a little sooner or a little later, you can control that. And then the TST 507 does also have the option to use flow through sensors. So the little sensors that go on the tire, instead of having the cap over it, you can get ones that you could fill the tire through the sensor so you're not having to remove them to add more air to your tires. So we didn't get those, um, but it's nice to know that that's an option if we'd like to upgrade to that. So another thing that we noticed is the TST 507 seems to be more expensive than the TireMinder i10. And that seems to be one of the reasons why a lot of people go with the TireMinder. But since we were only looking for two sensors, we actually were able to get a slightly better deal on the TST 507. So the TST 507 did have a package with only two sensors. The tire minder, the cheapest package that you could get had four sensors. So because of the different offerings, we actually were able to get the TST 507 sensor for slightly cheaper, almost the same as what you would get the tire minder for. And so that made it an easier decision because there really wasn't a price difference there. So what we decided on, and you probably already picked up on this, is we decided to go with the TST 507 TPMS. 
and it was really easy to install. We just put the little sensors on our tires. We added a toolbox to our tongue recently, and we were able to put the signal booster just right on the side of that. So that was really simple to install. And then the first time we turned on the screen, it did take about 15 minutes for it to register the two sensors. But since that, it is now much faster. It takes about a minute or so when we first turn it on for it to pick up the sensors. My only complaint is that the screen could be a little bit brighter. The screen actually came with a visor that you can put over it, and that does help with the glare and being able to see it on those bright days, but it's still not perfect. It could be better. You can see it. It just, it could be brighter and easier to see. We've used this for over 1,500 miles so far, and it's really worked out great. It's nice to be able to see how the tires are doing, what the PSI is, how warm they are. It is also a little bit nerve-wracking, but it's good information to have. It's better to know than to not know, and we feel a lot more comfortable just knowing that we're more aware of the current conditions of our tires.